Hello. Today is a bit of a different video. We're going to be doing some towel folding. And I also have my lint roller here. And then I've got a few towel folding techniques that I would like to show you. So I hope you enjoy this video. Just sit back and relax. I'm going to just scoot this heap of towels over to the side and we'll begin with our white towel. Just gonna try and fold it a little bit more neat. making sure that the corners all meet and that the tag is hidden. Moving it out. I want to say a big thank you to the two lovely subscribers of mine who requested this video. I love towel folding videos. And I hope that's something that my audience will also enjoy it. Okay, so now I'm reaching for my lint roller. This is a fresh sheet, so it might still be quite sticky. I'll just do some. I think that towel folding and just folding laundry in general can be such a relaxing activity. Of course, if you're rushing or you've got a lot to do, then it could be a bit stressful. I'm just gonna flip the towel around so I can roll the other side as well. But I think that if you if you have some spare time and you just wanna give some attention to your towels, spend a few extra minutes on them. Maybe while listening to ASMR 
are listening to a show or some music and I think it could be quite a relaxing activity. I used to work in the service industry in restaurants um, when I was younger and this one restaurant I worked at was very, very fancy um, very high end and we always had to have the, the serviettes with cloth serviettes we had to have them folded in a very specific way and that was always my favorite thing to do before opening the restaurant, or when we close the restaurant, is to sit with this stack of clean cotton serviettes and fold them. It was kind of a nice like way to start the day. I'm going to show you how I normally fold towels, um, which is probably how some of you do it as well. And then I'll grab the next towel and we'll look at some, some better techniques that we can follow. So normally um, I would just kind of flip it like so and flip it once more. Um, so it would just kind of be in this square shape. And of course there's nothing wrong with this. But um, I think that if you're trying to save storage or if maybe you have a guest room or a guest house or Airbnb of sorts. It could be nice to just put a little bit more effort into folding your towels. Okay. So I'm gonna grab this gray one. And then I'll show you like a very simple technique. And um, all of these techniques today are very simple. We're not doing anything complicated. Very easy steps that you can follow at home. So I'm beginning by just smoothing out the towel so that it's easier for us to work with. So there's two ways that I'm going to show you here. The first is folding it in half, the same way we just did with the white towel. Making sure the ends And now, instead of folding it in half again, like you would normally do, um, what you can do in this case is um, take the wider side and then we're going to fold it 
into thirds. And you might need to readjust in the beginning um, because obviously you, you may not um, have practiced how to do this. It does take some practice. But the more you do it, the quicker you can do it and the easier it becomes. Okay, so you see how we just folded it one third and then the next third. And then um, what you can do here, you can just fold it double. And then it looks so nice and neat. Look at these beautiful edges. This will just make it so much easier for you to store your towels. Um, you could also, if you want to hang this as like a a towel for guests to dry their hands with. You can easily just kind of hang it like so from the shape. It would look so nice and neat. Um, but if you're just looking to pack your towels in a very compact way, and what you can do from here, I, I would take what I call the ugly edge. The edge with, with um, kind of where it ends, where the towel ends. So what we can do here is just fold it in thirds once more. So fold this, this little piece over, press down on it. Fold it like so, or you can even just flip it, just even nicer. So let me show it to you from the other side, actually. So we would grab the, whichever end you kind of want to hide the most. You grab that one, you fold it one third of the way across the length of the tongue. easier to store and to stack and it's just very satisfying to to see how neat this is okay so another option you might want to consider is once you have it folded into fur is to roll it, so just kind of tuck and roll. So then you'd end up with this, with this little roll. So this is fine for storage, but I want to demonstrate one more way to you on how you can roll it in a neater way. Let's put this little roll to the side here. And up next, I'm actually going to grab a, a peach tongue. 
to demonstrate this next one. Okay, so this is a very pretty pink beach towel. Got these interesting patterns at the end. And so we'll have this pink. Just kind of grab my tongue and maybe like throw it over my body like this. Or I would just kind of best to just cut the tags off um, but I sometimes forget to do that <laughs> okay now we want to make sure that this is nice and straight and um, for the beach towels I do actually like to lint roll it a little bit so we can maybe just do that just because um, it tends to catch on to things when you're at the beach. Like you might, even though you washed it, you might still have some some sand stuck in there or some some shells or some dust or just any little things that it might have picked up. From, from your last trip to the beach. So I think that um, if you're packing um, for just a beach day or especially if you want to put this towel in a suitcase, with some of your other clothes, I do think it's very, very beneficial to just roll a lint roller gently over it, just to make sure there's no sand or dust or anything that's going to get in your bag or your suitcase or onto your other clothes. And for this next fold, it's also very nice to just have um, the lid roller just help us straighten the towel out in this position. So now what we're going to do, um, 
I will take, you can take either corner first, doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to start at this end. Now you want to take this and you want to kind of aim with your eye where the middle of the towel is. Then grab these corners. You fold it into the middle, like so, and now you grab the opposite corner, and you fold that over to touch where the edge of your towel sits down. Okay. Now what you're going to do, you can grab either edge, whichever you prefer. You're going to fold it again, but not all the way touching. So it's not touching this corner all the way. And just smooth that out, make sure you don't have um, too many bumps here on the inside. Smooth that out. Okay, it looks a bit crazy, but it's gonna come together. Now you're gonna grab this edge where the fold is. And you're gonna just roll it. And then you're gonna have this little loose edge. To show you how nice that looks now with the pattern. You can try and take this little edge and just tuck it here at the top if you want it to be more sturdy. You can just leave it like that. That just looks a lot more pretty palatable if you want to pack it. And then you can just toss this into your suitcase and there should still be a lot of space for other items as well. So those are the Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again.